Hello, welcome everyone. My name is Janet. I'm working through the King James's Bible today. I am in the book of Kings, working through chapters 10 and 11 today. So I'm going to give a quick summary over each chapter right now. So as we learned in the previous video, if you've watched that one, that King Solomon is now growing. He's very industrious. He has built a kingdom. He's built a temple for the Lord. He's now got ships, so he's going overseas and, you know, he's bringing back all these goods. So his wealth, his kingdom is growing and his wisdom is growing with it. So he's getting a pretty big reputation in the lands around him. And I'm sure they're expanding now to other lands. Which is where we start chapter 10, because we have the Queen of Sheba who wants to visit King Solomon because she is just so curious as to, is this the truth? Is he really this powerful? Is he really this wise? So she comes with a group of advisories, a large group of advisories, and a lot of goods like silver and gold and gemstones and spices. She's got so much with it. You can imagine the sheer presence of her coming with this huge tribe and with all of these goods. It must have been quite like something to see for King Solomon. So she arrives in the city of David and meets with King Solomon. Now her questions for Solomon are quite challenging. She really wants to put him to the test to prove that what everybody keeps telling her about him is true. And he answers her questions brilliantly and she is so amazed by his answer and by what she sees around her, the kingdom that he has built for himself, the sacrifices that he gives to the Lord, his servants, all of these things. She is just amazed and she says to him, I could not believe it until I saw it with my own eyes and I praise the Lord for his wisdom to choose you as king and your people, they must be so grateful for having you as their king. And then she bestows all of the gifts that she's brought to King Solomon. And it's noted that no other king has ever received such a bounty like this before. Now Hiriam, he also gifted God with gold and almug wood, which he used to build columns in the temple and also in his palace, along with different musical instruments. King Solomon also gifted the Queen of Sheba lots of goods and things to take with her as she returned back to her homeland. Now the final part of chapter 10 covers the wealth that King Solomon has now got. We find out that he has acquired a yearly salary of 640 talents of gold and this doesn't include all of the supplies he gets from Arabia and also from traders and merchants so lots building there. His throne also we find out is made of gold and ivy. His drinking cups and all of the household items are made of gold. Plus he has a vast amount of chariots now and horses which he acquired from Egypt. And this closes our chapter 10 just knowing how much of an empire King Solomon now has around him. So as we move into chapter 11 we find a slippery slope starting with King Solomon. He has now acquired many wives and concubines from foreign lands. He's going out there and he's bringing back wives. And it's noted that he ended up with 700 wives and 300 concubines. Plus, he started worshipping different gods. Two to name are a Sidonian god and also Moloch, which was the Ammonite god. Now, God himself is not happy with King Solomon because he is sinning now. He is going against God's commandments, statutes and laws. So God becomes angry with Solomon and he tells him he will take away his kingdom and give it to somebody underneath him. However, because of David, his father's loyalty and faithfulness to God, God chooses not to do this within Solomon's lifetime. So unfortunately, it's going to be bestowed to his son because the Lord says that Solomon's son, who will be the next in line to be king, will only rule over one tribe within Israel. I mean, there are 12 tribes, so that's only one now of the 12 that will be reigned by King Solomon's son. And now, as, as we always learn, when somebody goes against God, things start going wrong. So God brought about several adversaries against King Solomon. And these included Hadad, the Edomite, Rezon from Syria, 
Jerobium, one of Solomon's officials, and he's from Zirida. Now Solomon had placed Jerobium in charge of all of the labour forces for the tribe of Joseph. And Jerobium meets a prophet one day by the name of Adjiha, and he prophesies to Jerobium. He tells him that he is going to become leader over ten of the tribes of Israel. And this is because King Solomon had not followed the rules, so he's letting him know because King Solomon has sinned, he's gone against the commandments, the statutes, the laws that God has put down, things are going to be taken away from him. But this won't happen until King Solomon passes away. But one tribe will be left to King Solomon's son, so he's aware of that. Now it says that King Solomon tried to have Jehobium killed, and he then flees to Egypt to the king of Shisha. And he stays there until Solomon dies. And then we come to know that King Solomon dies in this final chapter today. He's reigned over Israel for 40 years. And he's buried in the city of David where his father was buried. His son then, who is named Rehobium, he becomes king over Israel. And this is where chapter 11 closes. So as we know with the Bible, there's a lot of facts covered in these short stories. We find out a lot of information that probably spanned so many years. And we've seen a great expansion of the Israelites now in their kingdom. You know, King Solomon has built this huge palace, this temple to the Lord, and he has grown this wealth. So his son is going to be taking over all of that. And we're going to find out, obviously, that he is going to lose 10 of those tribes and then we have another tribe which is kind of left open we don't know what's going to happen there who will be taking over the role of leader within that tribe and which tribe that will be i'm sure we'll find out as the chapters progress so thanks for listening thanks for being here and i will be back again soon with more chapters within the book of kings take care see you soon bye mm-hmm.